post-baccalaureate achievement program uh, targets individuals from underrepresented uh, um, segments of society and also poor segments uh, to basically enable them to acquire a graduate degree, uh, ultimately up to a, a PhD. And so since I am a Jamaican immigrant, um, I, I fit the sort of category and uh, I've enjoyed the program immensely. Since this is my first year, I'm actually hoping to learn more about presentations at conferences and symposiums, and I think that would have a really big impact on my education, especially in graduate school. Well, the GAMS program for me is more of a program that's there to help us pursue higher education other than our undergrad to prepare us better, in a sense, is to give us all those tools that are not being offered anywhere else or tools that we're not able to get our, on our own and all these, you know, acquired experiences that we might not get any other place um, that we will need for a PhD later in our career. My McNair research was working with uh, the Portland State Aerospace Society um, on what is called multidisciplinary design optimization or MDO for their launch vehicle four. For their fourth iteration rocket. Um, this involves a combination of mathematics or mathematical optimization with computer science uh, running the optimization algorithm on a computer and then physics uh, trajectory simulation aerodynamics modeling and, and so on. Um, and so effectively I was tasked to um, improve and extend the existing uh, uh, MDO uh, cool code that was on their GitHub and so I went ahead and uh, modified um, uh, things extensively and made, made, made a lot of additions that, um, that overall improved the MDO software and led to converging to the optimal design, design vector. And they should be building to my specifications uh, at some point in the future. I've had a really positive relationship overall with uh, the McNair staff. Um, Dr. Christabel Dredu and um, Denise Elder have both been extremely helpful and caring staff members of the McNair Scholars Program and uh, a lot of what I've gotten out of the program would have been possible without their help. Um, you know, uh, Dr. Dredu in particular has always been a very supportive, caring uh, mentor. She's always done her utmost to help us uh, scholars succeed and to get the most out of the program. And, um, you know, on an individual and personal level, she's also proven herself to be deeply caring about student success and, um, and very approachable in terms of any problems we might, we might be having. It helped me understanding not just goal planning, but how to actually organize the tasks, the resources that you will need to achieve them. And then secondly, it really helped develop my understanding of networking within whatever field you want to get into, me it's sociology, but networking is also a big part of understanding how to achieve success. Thinking of pursuing a PhD in education, and from that I need to complete a master's in education. Um, but in this, I want to focus on curriculum development for um, core classes like math or science, um, majorly math, and bilingual settings. Uh, doing in transitional classes that you know make it a little for students to make those connections from Spanish to English or English to Spanish, whichever way they're learning. But I believe most of the time it's going to be from Spanish to English. Well, before applying to the McNair program, I didn't think I was competitive enough for master's or PhD programs. But since applying to the program and getting in. Um, I believe that through the help of the staff and my peers, I feel very confident that I will be able to apply to PhD programs and master's programs um, with confidence. I'm currently applying to a number of grad programs in Europe. 
Um, I'm looking at a number of two-year master's programs in, uh, in Belgium, Germany, and Spain. I've just applied for a two-year uh, two master's in cultural anthropology at uh, KU Leuven, which is Belgium's top university. And later this summer, I'm going to be uh, applying for a master's in uh, Global South Studies, which is um, anthropology adjacent and combines my interest in Latin American studies and African studies um, at the University of Tübingen in Germany. I plan to attend Northwestern University um, in Evanston, Illinois in fall 2023 for the master's program in electrical engineering. Um, and yeah, this is the plan. One of the things that helped me, honestly, was to navigate the fear of the unknown of the unknown. When you first come into school, there's a whole lot of things you don't know. And as you start finding out the things you don't know, at a certain point you realize there's a whole lot more that you don't know you don't know. And there's a lot of, I don't want to use the term unwritten processes in applying for grad school, but there's certainly information that would have otherwise been not as easily or readily available to me. So it helped me navigate the fear of the unknown much better. I, I, I am a beginner scholar. scholar.